guys, welcome to third grade, chapter five, lesson two. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So all we're doing is solving for S, okay? So we need to know what times eight equals 64. Well, eight times eight is 64, okay? 21 is seven times what? Well, seven times three is 21, okay? What times two is 18? Well, nine times two is 18. Okay, you guys are going to go ahead and finish up through number 16. You guys can totally do this. It's all multiplication, so you just got to look at what it is. Okay, I know that these ones are giving you shapes. Just think of them as an X or a Y or something, a letter, okay? It's the same exact thing. They're just giving you a shape instead of a letter, okay? Carmen spent $42 for six hats. How much did each hat cost? So, six hats times how much is $42? Well, six times seven is 42. And don't forget the dollar sign. That's your word answer, okay? Okay, Mark has a baking tray with 24 muffins. The muffins are arranged in four equal rows. How many muffins are in each row? So, four times what equals 24? Well, four times... Six are, is 24, and there's six muffins. Okay, word problem, word answer. Make sure you've got it down. Okay, we're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do a lesson check, just like always. Okay, and we're going to go down into this bar review. The number sentence four times six equals six times four is an example of what property? Well, you'll see that it's the same exact numbers. The numbers have just moved. And when you move, when you commute the numbers, which is all moving is, okay, then it is the commutative property. And it's of multiplication because we're multiplying. Okay. All right, guys, we're going to find the product. So we're going to do the parentheses first, order of operations. So 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 5, well, that's 40. Okay. The number sentence 4 times 7 equals 4 times 3 plus 4 times 4 is an example of what property? Well, all they did was break up the 7 into 3 and 4. So when they break it up, it means that they distributed it. Distributive property, guys. Okay. In a group of 10 boys, each boy had two hats. How many hats do they have? Well, 10 times 2 is 20 hats. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 5.2. Come on back for 5.3. See you soon.